hi guys welcome back again to my channel i hope you're doing very well i am fine thank you it's been a minute i know i hope you guys are not mad at me yes so sometime last week or two weeks ago i posted on my community tab asking you guys to ask me all questions pertaining application process here at the university of ghana and some of you have actually sent me some questions so today i'm going to be answering all your admission questions for you for 2022 2023 academic year we are crawling towards 10k subscribers and i'm so happy about that so if you have not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe give this video a very big thumbs up of course if you like it and comment share and do all that good stuff for your girl you know yes so but before i get into the q a i would want to talk briefly to you guys about the mature student admissions into distance education program here at the University of Ghana for 2022-2023 academic year. Yeah, so it's risk. I just want to briefly tell you guys about it. Those who are beyond 25 and still want to come to school, this is your opportunity to do so. So guys, I just got a notice that the distance education program application process has been extended to the 30th of May, 2022. So if interested, please go ahead and apply, okay? Now let's continue from where we left off. So registration for the University of Ghana Mature Access course for the 2022-2023 academic year takes place from Monday, January 24th to Friday, March 11th, 2022. Successful applicants will be admitted into the following level 100 or diploma distance education programs based on their performance in the entrance examination bachelor of arts subject combination so we have political science sociology and information studies as one subject we have psychology sociology and information studies adult education and human resource studies we have um, accounting psychology adult education and human resource for applicants who do well in mathematics and in the entrance examination. We have public administration, sociology, um, information studies. We also have human resource management, psychology and information studies as one subject. So in diploma programs also, we have diploma in youth and development, diploma in adult education, diploma in public administration, diploma in librarianship and diploma in accounting. So yes, if you're interested in any of these programs, please listen carefully to the requirements. So the entry requirements include, applicant must be at least 25 years old at the time of application and show proof of age with birth certificate or any legitimate documentary proof of date of birth, which is at least five years old. Applicants must register for, attend and complete the University of Ghana access course and pass the mature student entrance examination conducted by the university. Also, applicants who pass the entrance examination must purchase an e-voucher from designated banks to access the UG online application portal. Also, the access course will be run by the School of Continuing and Distance Education at the College of Education, University of Ghana at all its learning centers across the country. So you're not necessarily coming to campus to study, but you're learning in all these learning centers spread across the country. And when students are on recess, you come to the main campus to sit for an exam. Applicants should take note of the following. The registration fee for the access course and entrance exam is 500 Ghana cities only. Please note that the fee is non-refundable. Payments should be made into Eugene Learning center account number i'll leave it on the screen here at any branch of ecobank ghana limited applicants should register online at the university of ghana website or through https applied.ug.edu.gh slash admissions slash mature only applicants who pass the entrance examination will be eligible to purchase the e-voucher to access the university's online application form so you have to buy the e-voucher so for further information please visit the university of ghana website www.ug.edu.gh or contact us on any of the following numbers or emails i'll leave everything here on the screen and in the description box below so check it out guys if you're interested in um, coming into 
or being admitted into the distance education program here at Legon, it's one of the best you can get in the country. So yes, you should go ahead and apply. I'll give you all my support, guys. Please note that this is the official University of Ghana Mature Access course. All other advertised courses have not been sanctioned by the university. Only candidates who participate in the official University of Ghana Mature Access course will be eligible to take the entrance exam. Okay? Now back to the q and I was talking to you guys about. A lot of you have sent me some questions. This is from Shinab um, FX Spider. I'm a higher diploma holder. What level can you reward me? I don't reward levels. I think if you're a diploma student, applying to the distance education program will be one of the best options for you. So um, Shinab, please check that out. As I have mentioned early on, this is from Dosu Helen. Helen is asking, please, I'm a general art student and I had grade nine. Can I apply for midwifery free at Legon? Helen, I'll just ask you humbly to watch my nursing video. The administrator there answered all your questions regarding cutoff points and all of the good stuff you need to know about. So, so please watch my video about the nursing school. I'll leave the link to the video in my description box below so please check it out and i'm sure your question will be answered but on the high side i think you mentioned um the cutoff point to be eight for nursing i don't know about midwifery please check the video out and i'm sure your question will be answered i left the man's detail in my description of that video so please check it out um this one said i'm proud of you keep doing what you're doing thank you isifu amado um another one from christabel's world Christabel is asking, how is the admission process and fees for international students? It's quite different. It's quite different. But I'm going to have an international student on this channel talk to you guys about the application process, the fees and all of that, obtaining or securing yourself a hostel and all of that good stuff. So please stay tuned for that video coming up next after this. Um, Asantua Esther is saying, Lady Nancy, please, can I choose main campus for all my three choices? Of course, please go ahead and choose it. I hope your grades are good. I hope they're good. Okay. Adro Oye is asking, how likely am I to get my first choice program for the Bachelor of Arts with aggregate 15? And what range do you think the fees will fall in for a regular student? Once you're admitted onto the main campus as a regular student, you're paying school fees just like any other person. So please check the university website for the school fees um, per year and the whole fees and all of that. They are there on the university website. So please check it out. Grade 15, getting into your Bachelor of Arts, I think it should be possible. It's dependent on your program as well, but I think it should be possible. Grade 15 is not that bad. Yeah, it's not so bad. You might not necessarily get your first choice, but second and third, I should think you, you can get it. I got a grade eight or nine at the time, and I didn't get my first choice. My first choice was mathematics, statistics, and then computer science. And then later I gave my second choice, which was Chinese, linguistics, and political science. So yeah, grade 15 is not too bad, but I'm not too sure you can get your first choice yeah but don't really bother so much about the program you're coming to study trust me after school you might not necessarily work with the program you came to study unless you want to do a master's program or further your education that is where you might have to do a program a little bit related to what you did in your uh, bachelor's to be able to apply for a master's program but aside that it doesn't really matter and when i got chinese in the first place initially i didn't want to come but when i came i really enjoyed the chinese program although I had to drop it along the line. <laughs> Jeffrey Ohine is asking, Hello, Miss Nancy. I'm a general art student and I really have the passion for nursing. But unfortunately, I don't have science background. Can I apply? I believe in all things being possible, right? But when I spoke with the administrator at the nursing school, he specifically stated that um, you should have some science background to make your studies quite easy, you know. But if you don't have it too, I still think you should go ahead and apply and keep your fingers crossed. You just cannot tell where your luck or your grace will come from. So yes, 50-50, yes and no. Ibao. 
Samuel Nkum says, I love your videos. Thank you. Um, Emmanuel Opoku says, please, how do they calculate grade for science students? What do you mean? Are you thinking between English, social studies, and science? If you're a science student, trust me, they are going to calculate the science. I'm not entirely sure about it, but you can do the calculation yourself. You know what I mean? What did you get, Emmanuel? Just let me know, okay? Uh, Paddy Man123 is asking, is their fees expensive or not? Relative. It depends on who is asking. Unless Frimpon is asking, I want to come there. Of course, you can come. Come to the um, Hillary Man Hall. I think that's where this question is coming from. Once you come to the Hillary Man Hall, of course, you can come. So, yes, apply when the portals are open and then come over. Please, are the university forms out? Yes, University of Ghana forms for undergraduate students is out. So, please go ahead and apply, okay? If you if you want a video on how to apply, step by step video on how to apply, please comment it below so that I can film that video for you all. So guys, I think this is where I'll end this video today. I hope I've answered some of your questions for you. As I mentioned early on, if you want a video of me show you how to apply to the University of Ghana step by step, comment it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to film it for you. Till we meet same time. It's bye-bye from me. But before that, I would want to say that be kind to one another, love one another, and above all, be thankful to God for the life he's given you. Okay? Don't take anything to chance. Every day is an opportunity for you to do something great and for you to better yourself than you were yesterday. So take opportunity of the day you have and do great things for yourself. I love you all. And till we meet same time next week, it's bye-bye from me. Take care.